Right wing wall, throws it across to Logan Pyatt. He'll send it one in. Ryder stars. Ryder on the power play right in front of the net to flex home the feed from Pyatt on the wheels. First shot of the game against DiPietro, and it's one nothing. Well, the nothing DiPietro is going to do about that. That's a great pass there by Pyatt. Uh, he found Ryder parked right out in front. That's where he was working this power play at Siegel High in the slot. Newberry over on the far side. They worked it over here to Pyatt, who snuck in, and he put a perfect pass on the sink. There was nobody around. Kreider, who was parked out in front, not a thing that DPA drove. Beats a check. Newberry centers one. They score! Siegel driving the middle, able to deflect home a pass. From Newberry, the Whalers shooting two for two on the power play, it's two nothing. Boy, what a pass by Chris Newberry with speed coming down the near side. And we all know that Chris Newberry is one of the best assist men in the league. And he fired a cross ice pass that was perfect on the tape. Uh, Brandon Siegel, who deflected home another deflection goal by the Whale to go up two nothing, two for two on the power play as Siegel got ahead uh brock nelson to deflect that one home and that's after newberry got around wishart timeout's gonna be called here shot scores mike vernays makes it three to nothing gene was right there didn't look like he touched it from up here but the uh, dipietro clearly didn't see that puck very well no he sure didn't and that puck didn't deflect off of anybody vernays just fired it toward the goal you could tell by dipietro's eyes that he was disgusted at himself that he didn't uh, get that puck. But you're right, there was definitely some uh, bodies in front of him that might have distracted him there. But Vernay scores from long range. We're going to look on the in-house replay. There was a nice feed by Yogan through the goal mob that came right to Vernay, and he just threw it towards the goal mob. I think he was screened by his own defenseman. That was a perfect shot, it looked like, on the replay by Vernay. Number Bernays. 38, Mike Vernay's. Assisted by number 21. Able to get it to center ice, and he hands it ahead to Thomas, two on one in the Bridgeport zone. Thomas left wing side to Mashner, the slot back to Thomas. He scores! Oh, what a pretty passing play there as Mashner gave it back to Thomas, and Thomas had all but an empty net. Boy, some pretty passing is right. I thought uh, Mashner was actually going to take the shot. He probably could have as well, as he was wide open in the far circle, but at the last second, slid it over here to Thomas and put it right where it had to be for him to push that one in. Pass DiPietro was over on the far side, but some pretty given goes here. And boy, the Whale have scored some really pretty goals here in this first period. And that one was another one. Great passing play by Mashiner and a Thomas. Both come back down and both get on the score sheet. That's another one. That Has it go off his stick and it's loose on the doorstep. They score! It's off of Kabanov and into the goal. It's 5 0 the Whale. DiPietro trying to handle the puck there, miscommunicated with his teammates. It ended up hitting Kabanov and going in. Well, that's what will happen to you when you're down here and you're not really uh, communicating with your teammates yet in your first game there, Hawk. He played with the puck a little bit too much. He should have just fired it around the boards on the far side or over here to get rid of it. Newberry and Kreider had him sealed on both corners and the puck rolled off his stick, went off a player and into the net. And that's gonna fall on DiPietro as we get a look on the replay. You're right, I think it went off of Wishart there. Brett winding and holding. Now to Manning with a drive, save made. Rebound put on goal, they score. Atkinson from the base of the left wing circle. Had a lot of room after DiPietro left a rebound in front. And the Phantoms get a power play goal. They lead 1-0. Jason Atkinson, who led the Phantoms in scoring, and for all that, started off the year in the ECHL because of the lockout, picks up his eighth of the season. So one nothing for the Phantoms. 40, sound tight. Here's Rowe in the slot, and he shoots in scores. The Phantoms come right back, and Rowe is open in the slot. He's able to go top shelf and beat Rick DiPietro with 6.57 left to play here in the first period in the Phantoms. Are back on top, two to one, as Rowe scores his fifth of the season. Tough break for the Sound Tigers, as right off that game-tying goal, Atkinson found a row in the slot. Now ahead of the right side, a big drive, and that one is off the post, and now tapped in after DiPietro caught out of position, and on the delayed penalty, the Phantoms have tied this game at three. 
Lilia nearly got to it the first time. He stayed camped out in front, and he may have been able to finish watching the replay here on AHL Live. That first one clanked off the post, and then a phantom by the base of the right wing circle just kind of backhanded it out in front, and it was tapped in.